shooting. Go. Okay, um, I'm going to tell you uh, why Capital Metro is not really economical. Um, you're making all these claims about Capital Metro, and uh, i got to tell you something. Um, they're at the lowest um, priced uh, transit agency in the company, in the country, and um, they're charging you uh, thirty-two dollars uh, for actually since you said since you are a UT student, they're not charging you anything right. Yeah, your university is paying Capital Metro uh, lump sum for you to utilize their transit service, and that's the way it's always been. Uh, for people who are not uh, UT students, Capital Metro is very expensive and can't get you there from a lot of places in Northwest Austin. Um, for example, point A to point B is going to cost you, uh, to ride all the buses and the train and the choo-choo train is going to cost $64. For those half fare uh, bus passes, for those who have Medicare, disability, fare cards, which um, who signed a contract with Capital Metro? Who paid Capital Metro five dollars for two years of uh, waived fares? Which uh, Council Member Riley and uh, Council Member Mayor Pro Tem Mike Martinez, as well as Linda, Steve Linda Stevenson Watson, CEO and President of Capital Metro, I believe in uh, breaching contract and thought breaching contract was okay if the Sunset Commission recommended. Uh, anything, which is actually false. I will also point out that there's a cheap er, transit agency in Texas. It's uh, called Via Metropolitan Transit. They charge only thirty dollars for a uh, full fare uh, for everyone. Everyone pay a monthly pass of thirty dollars. You can ride any bus except for a special event and paratransit. And uh, for a reduced fare, their reduced fare program is only $15, which they have an off-peak special of $0.25 cents for those off-peak uh, users that don't buy the passes from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. And uh, $0.07 cents transfer to another bus for reduced fare, and $0.15 cents transfers for uh, full fare for each bus within a two-hour time frame. Now, um, Capital Metro doesn't have that type of program, and also may I mention that Cap uh, Via Metropolitan Transit in San Antonio on Saturday and Sunday have free fares for those uh, who qualify for reduced fare. Something Capital Metro put a stop to. Uh, Via actually has bus stops accessible within a quarter of mile distance. Capital Metro has bus stops every football field length around. Capital Metro does everything they can to skirt the ADA. And you know these I-Ride contests that are so hype and hip, you would think? They're coming out of the, um, they're coming out of their hardworking uh, low-income and disabled community. We're footing the bill for um, these stupid contests. Uh, Capital Metro will not tell us how much money is spent on this I-Ride contest. Capital Metro also won't tell us how much money uh, does it pay for the Driscoll Hotel when they did that uh, Driscoll Hotel contest. You know, you wrote an essay or whatever, you got to win a free night stay at the Driscoll Hotel back in February. And also, Capital Metro is heavily advertising their train on television and radio communications in Austin, Texas. Like, for example, Magic 95.5. Uh, that costs money. And you know, they were, they were drained out of the poor people. You cannot have the means to afford the, this. However, uh, then uh, from people who have uh, made contributions to Capital Metro private partnerships. Now, I'm assuming that because they didn't tell me the facts of where the money's coming from. Did you know that the CEO of Capital Metro makes $225,000 a year? This is a, uh, if it's a quasi-governmental entity and it's a public service uh, paid for by City of Austin taxpayers, the City of Austin taxpayers demands a rebate, a sales tax rebate from Capital Metro. 
and especially the, the people who are underserved by Capital Metro's lack of service, such as in, again, Northwest Austin, where they don't want to put bus routes where they're needed, which is in quarter mile distance or up steep hills. And they want to get people, more people to use the public paratransit service. And uh, basically, well, for, scratch that. The capital metro doesn't want low income, disabled, or probably possibly the minority, including the Hispanic community, riding the bus. They want the choice riders, the hanging fruit, to ride the bus. They, they, they demonstrate it on a monthly basis. And it's time we citizens got together to abolish the Capital Metro and have another transit agency take its place. Uh, it could start by uh, petitions. I'd like to see people with uh, petitions. Uh, we'll be setting up an online petition site uh, real soon where you can print out petitions. You can go door to door, ask people if they want to abolish the Capital Metro. And let them know that Capital Metro is wasting uh, every taxpayer's uh, dollars in Austin, Texas. And, and you know, if you really want to uh, be a good citizen, make another petition to abolish Senator Kirk Watson, who started this Sunset Commission screw up of Capital Metro. Uh, 